My name is beautiful Painted Arrow. I grew up in Picaris, Pueblo, New Mexico. My mother was from the Southern Ute Indian Reservation in Ignacio, Colorado. And my father was from Picaris, Pueblo. Um, in 1983, I had a vision um, uh, for peace chambers, building peace chambers around the world. I was in a sweat lodge ceremony in my home there in Bernalillo. I was living in, in a trailer house. So this evening I was in, uh, in a sweat lodge ceremony when uh, I had this vision. I was taken out of my body and the next thing I knew I was standing uh, next to the garden that I had there at the, uh, at the Bernalillo home and uh, uh, I was taken up into the heavens where I met a council of elders, Indian elders, and uh, they talked to me about uh, where might I build the first peace chamber. The next thing they did was um, I was standing there in the garden plot and um, an angel came down from the heavens and had a child in his arms and placed the child in the ground and the child, the angel asked me to, to raise the child and so um, um, the vision then ended and after the uh, slot light was over I announced to some of the people of the vision that I had had and that I was going to start building a peace chamber and the first one was going to be there at my home in Bernalillo, New Mexico in 1983. So, next thing I knew I was in the sweat lodge ceremony and I was conducting the ceremony in the sweat lodge so I don't think it was more than three or four seconds that I left my body and I was back in my body. When I got the vision for the peace chamber, I went to the United Nations and I went there in 1983 and I asked them for permission since I recognized them as the the entity for world peace, I asked their permission so that I could leave my reservation, Indian reservation, and travel and, and talk about peace chambers. And, uh, this day we have 60 or 70 peace chambers in different foreign countries, including chambers in the United States. This is the 24th, coming up the 24th year that the vision came for the peace chamber. And we were taught in the tradition of my father's people at Pigurish Pueblo that uh, when mankind can't do something, then celestial energy comes. Last year, April uh, 16th, I had a vision of the Horn of Plenty. I was doing a, a dance there in Australia when the Horn of Plenty appeared above the dance ground. I want to announce to the people all over the world there that this horn of plenty is here for all peoples of all races, of all nations. And I want to make this announcement and let you know that um, uh, prosperity and abundance is here for all of us and it's going to show up in different ways. So uh, just pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
As elders, we have a responsibility, a responsibility to uh, talk about the sacredness of the earth and the sacredness of the people on the earth. In the end, we are all brothers and sisters, fathers, uncles, and aunts, extended families, and we belong to one great mystery, the mystery that created us in the beginning. The Horn of Plenty is here now, and uh, it's here to stay, and that uh, we can begin to recognize ourselves as the true peacemakers because we are alive and we're living this time as a peoples of the global societies. And so I thank you very much. Ahod. I would like to sing this song now for uh, for all of you. It's a it's a chant for world peace. And when you hear the sound of this song that came to me also in vision, that uh, you will have peace in your lives. Peace will come and will be with you always. Hey, yo, who are here? Here, 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 Hey, Chelo <laughs> Oh, it's in a hot